Welcome to Solo Shot First, and today we're going to be having a look at the um, Star Wars uh, from the Clone Wars Mandalorian Super Commando. Now, um, first impressions of this, it's a lovely looking card. Um, I mean, obviously it comes on the Star Wars Clone Wars chase. Um, you've got the Mandalorian Super Commando itself, obviously with the uh, sort of light green name pill and green background. Um, and what looks like a, an artist's impression um, of the Super Commando. Kenner logo in the bottom. Warning, obviously, in the top uh, right-hand corner as you look at it and the 4 plus age group. But the figure itself looks really, really nice. Um, and looking forward to getting this one open. So let's have a look at the back of the card. Okay, so this is VC243. And... Um, Again, obviously, it comes with that uh, standard uh, vintage collection Star Wars uh, racetrack chase. Um, and then, obviously, it's highlighting figures that are part of this wave or in future waves. So you've got Boba Fett uh, from Morak. You've got Reva, the third sister from Obi-Wan Kenobi series. You've got Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Wandering Jedi, the Anakin Skywalker Padawan, the 330 sec sorry, 332nd three, three, um, Ahsoka's clone trooper, uh, Din Djarin from Morak, and you've got the Darth Vader, uh, the Dark Times, obviously, from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And then here you've got the, obviously, in the bottom right-hand corner there, you've got the, um, the Mandalorian Super Commando itself. A lot of legal information, um, but, you know, quite a nice number of figures obviously as part of this sort of wave and, and future wave. So let's have a look at the front of the card again. Okay, so yeah, really nice looking card back. Um, and the figure itself inside the bubble looks very, very nice. So all we now need to do is get this figure out of the box and have a look. Okay, so here is the figure out of the packaging. And um, you've got to say, this is a really, really lovely looking figure in terms of the colouring and the detail on it. You've got the uh, the grey sort of boots followed by the sort of silver and look sort of like a washed, um, I suppose you could call them like a shin guard almost. Uh, exactly the same with the knee pads. Um, a nice sort of belt there. Obviously his um, holsters are attached to the legs, which is, I suppose, quite a nice touch. I don't think we've seen that in many figures. Some lovely detailing here on the chest sculpt with a, a sort of, um, obviously the silver with that sort of dark not really sure what color you'd call that it's certainly not a, a brown it's sort of more of a ah, I'm not, again not really quite sure what what color you'd actually call that or i would almost call it like a dark red really um nice um silver arm uh, sorry on silver armor on the, uh, the the forearms um and it's got these lovely pieces again on the shoulders whereby uh, where you do have some of these figures um, where they've got issues, obviously, in terms of moving these up and down. You don't have that because this plate moves up and down very, very nicely. So um, really, really nice there. Um, in terms of the helmet, there's some lovely detailing on there. Obviously, it's got that uh, nice silver um, with what appears to be that sort of fingerprint, obviously, on the top of the, or the fingers printed sort of on the, as though somebody's Put blood or something on them appreciate that's not blood because it's not the color but it is got that very sort of similar look as though somebody's put a very detailed sort of indented um coloring on the top of the the helmet from the back um again not too much to sort of showcase in terms of you know the, the colors are obviously sort of all again that very nice dark gray but the helmet does look really really nice with that sort of silver chrome on the top there um in terms of uh what the figure comes with um, in terms of the accessories that you actually get with this figure. So you get the jetpack um, that comes with this. I don't know if that's going to focus properly. There we go. Um, not a lot of detailing on it. It's just quite a sort of a plain grey with that sort of darker red just around the sort of the, the tips of the, of the jetpack itself. But obviously that fits in quite nicely and obviously is removable so it can be put on and off and it does have a really nice um it sort of snaps in and snaps out very very nicely 
Um, the figure also actually comes with this sort of um, mid-range blaster. Let's see if that's going to... I don't know if that's going to focus properly again. I'm having a bit of a problem here. It's a real... There we go. Um, really not a lot of detailing on it. It's just a very, very sort of light grey. Um, but it, it does appear to be a little bit sturdier. Sorry about this. It's not focusing. Yeah, there we go. It does appear to be a slightly sturdier plastic sorry this camera is for some reason not picking that up anyway the mid-range and then it comes with the um the two pistols both identical which come on focus no it's just not going to play ball today is it Sorry about that. Anyway, there's not too much to report there, guys, on the, the blasters. Obviously, they're just two pistols. Um, again, they actually do seem to be a little bit um, of a sort of stronger plastic than we have had. Um, but those pistols obviously fit very, very nicely into the holsters. So overall, really, really stunning looking figure. I mean, in terms of the articulation, this has got absolutely everything that you would want. You've got a uh, swivel, obviously, at the head. You've also got the, um, so it's obviously on the, the ball hinge, you've got a, a movement there. You've got articulation at the elbows. As I said, those pads lift up, so that's a nice touch. You've got articulation um, at, sorry, so you've got articulation at the shoulders. You've got articulation at the forearms. Or, um, and it also does obviously come with the uh, the swivel wrists. Sorry, I should say there, articulation at the elbows, not forearms, what I'm talking about. Um, and articulation at the wrist, and it's got those hinge wrists. So again, you can get this figure into some lovely, lovely poses. It does have a swivel just above the, the waist or around the torso. And what's lovely about this is it's not massively visible because, again, it sort of is just right under where the, um, the chest armour is. So that's lovely. Um, it does obviously come, again, fully with these butterfly hinge, which is really nice. So, again, you can get that figure into some amazing poses. Um, articulation at the knees, at the ankles, and it's got the rocker ankles. So um, everything that you could want in terms of an articulation on a 3.75-inch figure, it's not going to get any better than that. So um, if you get the chance to pick this figure up, I'd highly recommend it. It's a gorgeous-looking figure and has amazing articulation. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, please hit the like button. Um, if you wanna subscribe, there'll be more videos coming shortly. And if you've got any questions or want to comment, please do, and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.